over here. I guess what everyone sort of came here for is a 54 inch KTL Snap-on Master Series stainless steel top, black and silver trim or chrome, whatever you want to go over. Uh, so in the back here, I have my keys with a bunch of change and a magnet tray. Um, I always do this because my last toolbox actually locked my keys inside of it. And it was a craftsman box. I'll show pictures of it up. Um, but yeah, never again. Um, so then, yeah, it has both outlets on both sides. I do have a fan right here in the middle, the little snap-on fan with the LED. Um, I have some diamond grip gloves, Milwaukee charger, the snap-on for the 4T4. Uh, and then on the side here, I have the Bear Claw Streamlight light, which is okay. Snap-on uh, light. And then some uh, assortment of uh, magnetic trays. Uh, and then also I have a um, fender cover by Mako. Uh, I also have the snap-on radio, which usually doesn't sit up here. I usually leave it inside the box, but um, it is Saturday, which is really just me. So I figured I would uh, turn off the radio and put my own music on. Um, I also bought this snap-on or Mako organizer. Uh, so here's a mass airflow sensor out of a place. Uh, just some quick things. Um, brake gauge, tire jump gauge, uh, highlighter for when I'm doing all rows. Some quick zip ties, spark plugs I did uh, over the week, and then some random strut bolts from replacing struts. Uh, it's actually a centric bolt from my girlfriend's car. and braking. Had to replace that. Um, so yeah, we'll go through the main drawer now. Um, so back here we have, let's see, we just have our ratchets and some extensions I really never use. So this is, I got this handed down from an older technician. Um, so long spark plug socket, uh, so here's a Mako, um, quarter inch body, three eighths head doing spark plugs, um, for Subarus, really good. Cause it's a really thin head, great locking blue handled. Eh, it's okay. Head broke on me once, had to replace it. Um, Mako half inch ratchet, 88 tooth. I lost my craftsman one. Honestly, would never buy one of these because how often do you pull a ratchet out like this? Um, but yeah, I lost my Craftsman. I had to buy this. Could have bought another Craftsman. Just hate running out to the store sometimes. So obviously you got the Mac Daddy Snap-on, uh, long-handled uh, ratchet, uh, and then I have some uh, three-eighths extension, locking extensions. So obviously you have the large one, and then uh, some smaller ones. Uh, and then if we come over here, we have. Um, some half inch uh, sockets. So I have an assortment of some Pittsburgh set. And then I have some snap on for the 20s. And then I also have a uh, craftsman in here. Yeah, so this is like the OG craftsman stuff I started with. Um, and yeah, it's all broken up basically. Like I said, I have the 22 out for taking the wheels off for the Jeep I'm working on. And then, you know, the uh, uh, 21 and the 19 and the 17 are out with my cart. Uh, so yeah, basically you really never come for these uh, except for the 22 and the 24 uh, So yeah, basically they just hang out uh, Got some larger um, Allen keys from Mako uh, So yeah, I got this Max Mac organizer uh, So I interchanged everything so I got axle nut socket snap on here I got the Pittsburgh 3230s from uh, you know the impact set uh, thin wall 17 19 21 i forgot what brand those are so caliper bracket 17 mil got the two universals half inch three eighths never used those some turbo sockets i got 13 and i think that's a 10 mil i honestly never use these bought them never used them once uh you got a 22 sun x um this is good for taking off the chevy caps for those um like hubcaps on the trucks uh that go over the lug nuts um and then we have these these are for hose clamps so what is this? You got five sixteenths and a quarter inch. These are great, 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 great swivel socket snap on. Uh, this is just an extension with that uh, snap on bit on it. Use this every once in a while for like uh, dash work. Um, then there is a, what is this, E10. Uh, I needed this for my studs for my Subaru uh, when I was doing my um, downpipe. Good to have that. 3.8s. Um, so these are just Craftsman Torque sets. Never use them anymore. That one's broken, as you can see, and I'm not replacing it. 
even though lifetime warranty, because I did buy the Mac RTB set. Love these, these are great. Use these all the time. Um, and then I even have the, uh, was it T70 for Subarus, for the differentials. Uh, RBT set from the Allen keys also. And then right down here to the middle. And then here's the Craftsman set. Um, with a couple, I think I have like H11 for Jeeps. Uh, these are for the front brakes and Durangos. Um, I got a T15 on a quick release. And I got the ball head from the Snap-on. It was like buy one, get one free. So I got like the stubby set over here for free. Uh, or bought those. And then I got these ball headed ones for free. I think <laughs> one of my fellow co-workers used my H6 once. And that's it. Waste of fucking money. Well, this was a good set. Wish I could have got something better for these. Because like I said, I have not used them. Uh, so then we also have the E-Torques. So the full set from Snap-on. Um, you know, use these every once in a while, work on some Euro junk. Um, so yeah, I got some, the other assortment of my, uh, deep sockets. So here's some of my Sun X's, overloaded Craftsman's. Um, you know, I have the 15 and 16 on my cart that were placed. Um, then I have the mid snap-ons. I use these every once in a while. These are really good. Um, only bought these recently. So I only used a couple of them. And then an actual full set of uh, chrome shorts. Um, so then down here we have my quarter inch from 4 millimeter all the way up to 14. Uh, I think I have one snap-on socket, which is 8 millimeter. All of it's Craftsman. Really don't need anything crazy, personally, for... Um, what is it called? Quarter inch. And I'm not like a big snap-on fanatic. Like There's certain things I will buy, certain things I won't buy. Uh, so yeah, you got these double extensions, you got the 10 and 8 mil. I feel like these are big requirements. I definitely wish I bought the whole set on these. Uh, I do have a Craftsman torque wrench. Never torquing down heads with this thing or anything like that. Just do wheels. Set permanently at 100 foot pounds and never touched it. Uh, this is my quarter inch ratchet. Love this guy. Best friend. Got two locking extensions and then the rest of the Wobble Plus. Full set. Um, so like I said, I did have my Mac set, um, inside my cart over there. So here's just the, the molding, which I just put my own shit in. So there's a snap-on locking 3 8 I found underneath the hood. I do have a brand new one right here. Never fucking used. Same with basically all these extensions. I bought them and never used them, which I bought impacts. Impact extension set. Don't buy the chromes. You really, if you're gonna do it, may as well get uh, the uh, impact. But um, so yeah, it's just an assortment. So it's like what I started out with. Uh, I think I s took this from my Bosey's class back in high school. Sorry guys. Um, there's a Craftsman one I got from the set, and then you have a uh, Snap-on stubby uh, wobble. Um, so yeah, here's one of my first extensions. This is a Craftsman half inch, and then the Max set. Uh, locking extension. These are really good. Um, so over here, yeah, I just have an assortment of, you know, you got some pens, markers, another mirror, knife, some lighters, um, zip ties, tire chalk, you know, just some bullshit. My old tread depth gauge I don't use anymore. Actually, it just falls in on itself. So, like, if you were to measure a tire, it just falls in. Um, so that's why I bought the digital one. Uh, I got a max set of triple squares. Uh, 3H torque wrench I should just throw away because I never use. And then, you know, my starting ratchets. So here's my 3.8s. Here's my first long 3.8s, which is a Craftsman set. This was good. This was a really good starter. If you're going to start out, uh, nothing wrong with buying some Craftsman stuff. Um, so yeah, these are for swollen lug nuts for wheels. So you got like the off sizes. I think this is by Mako. So yeah, you got like 22 and a half, 22 to flip sockets. Uh, you got 21, 21 and a half, and 18 and a half, and 19 and a half. Uh, so that's the only different one. What do you have over here? I never really go back here. I got some wheel locks, and then the other Sun X um, swivels I don't use. So right here's an 11 millimeter. Here's a nine millimeter. Another wheel lock. Uh, seven millimeter. Another wheel lock. 
don't think I don't put these things back, all right? Found them. Um, and then you have two taps. A lot of kids used to strip out the Honda, so these are for ones for oversized, the other ones for retap and Honda aluminum pans. And then you got like a 32 millimeter socket. Uh, and then yeah, like the larger swivel, so with 22 millimeter three eighths, never gonna use that. Half inch quick release, never would use that. And I guess like a bit adapter set. And then yeah, just a couple assortment of extensions. Oh, and then this is for uh, Chevy axles. Uh, it's working the axle nut down on the drum axes. Um, so yeah, then you got a bit set from Mako. Uh, this one, this bit here is from Harbor Freight. I just sort of threw it in there, but yeah, some of them I have out. Uh, this is a really good set. Uh, so here's just my 12 point shit. Craftsman, all in a snap-on magnetic tray thing. Uh, and then coming down here, this is for BMWs, oil filters, Toyota's BMWs. This is a high quality cup. That's really fucking nice. Um, recommend never losing that because it's like fifty dollars. Also, obviously fourteen four, um, quick, uh, fourteen four quarter inch, baby. This thing, this is a fucking one of the only electric tools I take care of. Um, so yeah, now we have uh, spark plug sockets. Uh, so this is a snap on swivel fourteen mil. Um, I am sure SP twenty one mil or. 13 sixteenths. I don't know. Never used it. Uh, I mean, they just use these guys, the longer ones. So you got like 5 8 9 16 uh, Then you got a couple swivels up here. You got your European one right here for the 12 mil, uh, twelve point extra boots. Mako set. These are okay. The boots always come out. Um, probably should have got the magnetic ones, but it will do. But that's basically it with the top drawer. Nice deep. Uh, I think not 28 inches maybe i don't know regardless pretty nice box sort of wish i went bigger like a four series 72 inch or something like that by mako not really a big mako fan but i'm not a big fan of the uh the locks on these like i thought i really liked it i don't know how i feel about it uh so it's probably like one of the nicest drawers i have uh it's my wrench drawer which is also very unorganized um but i know where everything is like i said i never really moved into this box i will probably move things around um especially when i know where i'm working because i think i'm gonna go a dealership route so i won't need everything i work in an independent shop so so i need a little bit of everything um so you got like assortment of wrenches uh adjusting carburetors and um got like a flex head 12 point wrench i don't know maybe probably for like o2 sensors probably got handed down to me um so craftsman metric just um flare nut uh wrench set you got your stubby gear wrenches. These are really good. Blue point set, uh, eight through 19. I had to replace the 10 with the Dura last one. I actually found that one underneath the hood, which came very, very in handy. You got your Mac Daddy long macro pry bar with a um, hittable end. Use it for checking ball joints all the time. Uh, so like I showed earlier, the macro wrench set, uh, flex head, and I also have uh, a Mac and a snap on 17, 19, 18, 20, uh, and here. Good for doing rent or alignments, just bring those over. Uh, so now if we come back here, just a couple uh, extra wrenches I had I threw in into the holder I, I bought. So you just got some Craftsman, OE, and more Craftsman shit. Uh, but back here, this is the nice stuff. So these are thin wrenches through Mac. Really fucking nice to get in places and stuff. Um, also, if you're doing like calipers, uh, and you know, like the the other side of the slide spinning, you can just, just throw that on. Most of them are like 17, so you got 17 and 19 right here. They usually just use that because you could just get in there. Some normal uh, size wrenches don't fit. Uh, and then you have a really nice wrench. So you got a snap on flare side and open side. Um, so yeah. Uh, so now we just have more assortment of wrenches. I have a Pittsburgh set I mainly just use. It gets me by, you know, not the nicest shit in the world, but. Uh, so yeah, I got like 10, 11, 12, all the way through, I think it skips 16, but to 24, to 17, and SK19. Um, I have an eight mil. These are my, like my bleeder wrenches right here. You know, you got a 10 and eight. Uh, you got a 10 and 11, and then just another assortment of wrenches on this magnetic strip here. 
Um, so yeah, these are my go-to. So I usually just grab these and run. Um, Mako crow's feet. Uh, sort of Allen keys, you know, in the crafting bag. They usually come with those. Um, what do they call these? Uh, standard Mac wrenches. Uh, they're just, they're okay. They have like a interesting design to them. They're all right. Use them every once in a while. I was doing a transmission on a Hummer and uh, these came in handy. Um, and then you have just a couple of assortments. So they get 32, 30s and some adjustable wrenches back there. Really nothing too extravagant. All right. So like I said, I never really fully moved into this box or just threw shit in, was making it work at the time, trying to organize as I went along. So here's my pliers slash power drawer set. I'll start off with the pliers first. So uh, this set I bought um, mainly just for this guy. This, uh, you know, the long post clamp pliers. Um, so it was either you bought this and then this set of hose pliers for $20, or you just bought this for like $50 off one of the tool trucks. So, you know, Amazon won in that situation. Got some snap ring pliers, the snap on set. Probably used them two or three times, but regardless. Uh, so yeah, got this set. My overflow of vice grips, which are from Mako. Um, some, uh, the snap-on. This came in as a set. The, uh, you, know, you got the cutters, and then you got the, uh, crimpers and wire strippers. Uh, sh wire stripper set from Mac. Uh, Pittsburgh dykes, cutters. Don't want to get fucking sued or whatever. Um... Just a miscellaneous set. You got some hose cutoff pliers uh, from Mac, Maco. Uh, the plastic ones, which are key. The bigger Nipex, different set of channel locks, smaller channel locks. The other hose tool I have. Um, exhaust hangers, got some metal shear cutters. And then I'm really not sure what this is from, but I gotta hand it down to me. It's in here, if I ever need it. That's where it is. Um, so then, yeah, I also have fuel disconnect right there. Uh, I guess it's a crimper or something else. I uh, got the Milwaukee 18 volt, half inch blowgun. Uh, I gotta get this guy warranted. Uh, this is the Gooseneck 3 8. This was a, a must have at one point, still is. Uh, it's gunmetal gray. I was trying to get everything gunmetal gray. That's gunmetal gray, this one's not. Um, that guy's black. Um, actually, it may be gunmetal gray. I think the 3.8 is black. But yeah, this one's gunmetal gray also. So I was really trying to stick with gunmetal gray, but my tool dealers fucked me. Couldn't get some, but regardless. But yeah, you get to see how, um, yeah. And it just freezes up all the time. I, it fell off a lift arm like it's not I know the battery is white lighting up red But it's a brand new battery if I put it into the charger you build to see but there's no reason for me to explain myself honestly uh, so yeah um, Mako vice grip set so it's like the uh, uh, The locking um, ah, Fuck I don't even know regardless uh, So yeah, my ear salt ran half inch. I only bought this five months ago, you know daily abused great and I was swooping up soft over this for a bit um, definitely if you're gonna buy a half inch gun I would pick this over the snap-on price is cheaper uh, build quality is a lot nicer the one thing I don't like about this is the trigger if you stop the trigger on the snap-on gun that gun stops you stop it on this it's gonna spin for a couple more seconds uh, a lot more power and the, the noise difference is amazing um, this is a lot quieter of a gun than the snap-on, so if you're gonna take off wheels, especially if you're working at a tire shop or some shit, you know, 20 times a day you're gonna be using that thing in your hand, why not have something that's quieter with more balls that's not gonna make you go deaf. Uh, we have a carbide bit set, um, I got these brushes, I got two packs of them, these are really good. Um, if you got like a seized caliper pin, take them out, you can clean up, uh, I know you're not supposed to. ASE, but um, you're supposed you know, you can clean these up and uh, get that slide moving freely again, depending on how seized it is. If anything, recommend replacing the uh, bracket. But regardless, you got the uh, Pittsburgh, you know, cutting wheel set. Uh, 
really good drill bit set from Mako. Car uh, what are these? Look like the easy step or something. Can't open it. Uh, yeah, so I got the complete set of that. Uh, these are for cleaning hubs. Um, so I bought these this set first from Mako. And uh, you just put this on your half inch gun. You can clean around the lug studs. Um, and then I moved on and used my Harbor Freight guy and put that on to clean the, uh, the hubs. So yeah, I have this uh, set for cleaning hubs and stuff like that. That was for a reamer tool. I think I broke the bit broke, so I guess I just have the plastic case. Um, quick blow gun. You just open up that side, and it just fits with the uh, airlines here. Luckily enough, uh, this was a coast light. This was a really good flashlight. Got to get a new battery for it. Um, it wasn't as bright. This is my uh, day to day flashlight, actually. Streamlight. Great fucking light. Um, really really good always use it uh fan of blue obviously um here was my astrolite which lost its magnet this is my second one still works don't really ever use it um so yeah you got some pickle forks uh which you can actually change so this one has the air hammer bit then this one has the um the actual striking side you can use a hammer with through mac uh, this set, is, or this is for cleaning the, um, extra goo from the sticky weights, when you remove the sticky weights. Uh, this is really good. Just slap that in, uh, on the side of my Milwaukee drill. And, you know, just take that off. Um, so I go through my air hammer bits real quick. So I have, like, a long, uh, needle, or not needle, like, uh, you know, pointed end. Uh, you know, you got your basic chisel, pickle fork, um, another like a uh, needle nose bit, uh, flat hammer side, and then the Mac Daddy itself, the snap-on um, air hammer. Uh, you know, this is for taking out uh, rotor screws. You put the bit in there, and then you just like twist it as the air hammer's hitting it. Uh, an extra battery for the Milwaukee uh, drill. Uh, the 3.8 MG, I wanna say 328 but i don't think that's that's a bmw i don't know really really good i love this gun honestly if i were to stay to air i'd still use it but like honestly this guy will do it and if this guy can't do it you probably should be using this guy so like you know half inch you may as well so regardless um so yeah here's another uh piece for these uh interchangeable uh bits uh you got a grease gun Got the quick release snap on gunmetal gray. This guy's ancient. It sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. See, oh, um, the three eighths. Harbor Free Cutter, Mako. This was the set, the Dremel set. Uh, or well, you bought the angle grinder. You got the Dremel free. I ended up just putting a uh, what's it called, cutoff wheel. This is good for um. When you're cleaning out um, calipers, or not calipers, it's like where the actual pad sits. Uh, if there's like a lot of rust buildup, I'll take this and just like, you know, grind it down. Not cut, you just lightly go over and then just clean the surface rust off. Instead of like trying to use a brush, this is a lot faster. Um, but it's all how you use it. You got to know the tool. Um, and then, yeah, my angle, my 90 degree angle grinder has one of these bits on it uh, for, for the airline. So, you know, you could just have full mobility. This is great. Um, so, yeah, here's the Harbor Freight 90 degree with the hub cleaning kit. Still use this every once in a while. But, yeah, it's basically it for this uh, mess of a drawer. So, we'll just close that guy. Uh, so, yeah, all in this drawer is my uh, screwdrivers. So, I got this Mako um, hose pick set. A um, bunch of fucking Harbor Freight like phillips head bits junk they just sitting here because this is all the screwdriver bits uh so yeah here's the rest of my normal size um pick set you got the hook got the straight you got the long guys in here the full set and you also have uh the pocket pocket pry bars by Mako. um you got some extra bits and then just some miscellaneous screwdrivers all the way down so like this side's all phillips head that side's all the flatheads i have personal drawer don't know really gonna go in there um, so yeah, down here we have a, uh, we got, you know, good old plug, 
I really don't know what the fuck that's too. Probably for, I think that's for the box, for the LED lights. Some sort of other connector. Uh, you got your um, slide hammer with miscellaneous bits. You got an inner tie rod tool, Harbor Freight, um, pushing back calipers, the spin backs, uh, exhaust spreader from Amazon, miscellaneous uh, power strip. Matco uh, AC, you know, has the, the UV light and the glasses. Diagnose an AC problem. And you got the Matco vacuum filler, um, which is the one where you need the bits for. Uh, really, really fucking good tool. Um, you're doing a lot of services coming up as an early technician. And if you're doing like drain and fills, uh, definitely would recommend. Um, so now we'll move on to the right side here. So back here, we got some miscellaneous brushes, a bunch of different, looks like a lot of Honda washers. I think I took these from my last shop. I used to leave a lot of gaskets in my uh, toolbox, so they were just right there. Um, look, oversized drain plugs, people with fucking, a lot of pans got stripped at my last shop. Uh, I was the man to fix them, like I had the tap and die. Uh, set up there, um, so yeah, um, more washers, uh, I guess, these look new, they must have came from a hardware kit for drum brakes, some fuses, there's just a lot of miscellaneous shit in here, like I have some tire dread, tire, uh, what are they called, uh, air caps, you got some, uh, co uh cores, um, these caps always go missing, uh, so if I replace the caliper or anything like that and it came with new ones, I usually take these. If I see anything missing, replace them with. You got some pads for batteries, miscellaneous hose clamps. These came with a Craftsman set, quick release, the drivers, push pins, some like swab things, cleaning intakes, radiator caps, electrical shit, airlines, uh, pulling out the cores for tires, a couple different those, sawzall blade. Some miscellaneous. I don't know why I have fucking tire weights in here, but I do. Um, so you got some lady fingers with angles. Um, you got some files from Snap On. Red handled. Brass punch from Mac. You got uh, uh, chisels from Mac. Miscellaneous chisels that were made. Um, probably brake lines. Uh, you can take terminals off with this. You can also use it for wipers, wiper arms, just a big piece of brass to hit it. Uh, snap on measuring tape. Probably the nicest measuring tape I've ever seen in my life. Fucking crazy. Um, you know, these guys go on the, uh, let the air out of tires without taking the valves out. Um, stethoscope for listening for bearings, miscellaneous noises. One of these universal uh, drain plug um kit things, I forgot what they're called, but yeah, so basically you just, uh, it would just grab and it's supposed to seal, doesn't always work for every car, uh, miscellaneous scrapers, you got some chisels, or punches I mean, from Snap-on, uh, these things for European cars, and the, uh, the Fiat Jeeps, so, uh, when they don't have the lug stud, you throw these in, uh, this is from Mako, I took the top off, because, you know, why do you need to keep opening the top, you may as well just open, open it, grab it, and go, um, battery cleaners by, by the brushes and just, yeah, miscellaneous things like this hose is blocked off if I need this, uh, for diag purposes. Uh, I needed it for something, I don't remember. I think for power steering flushes, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, go down. This drawer is sort of really not utilized that well. Um, probably could move a lot of shit, like I said, I'm moving, so... Things will be different. Um, so I haven't even used this yet. You got a test light in here from Mac. You got the extended alligator clips for die purposes. You got some uh, earplugs. These are those um, things for cleaning off the uh, the uh, sticky weight material um, up here in the back. Those are the extra, uh, I guess, bits that came with. You got some. Um, Ratchet straps, another thing, ratchet straps, 
feeler gauges um, for valve adjustments. Haven't even opened them. Some miscellaneous tape, uh, voltmeter from Harbor Freight. Uh, I was doing used inspections for a dealership for a little bit. Um, while I was at this shop, actually, they would they would outsource it to us. So checking trailer um, hookups. Uh, these were checking um, relays and fuses, different cars. I don't remember. I think I bought this from Mac. Uh, I think I lent it to my buddy, and I think it, the casing got wet. But uh, then yeah, you got extra terminals, and I think this is like a plastic. I don't even know. I bought this uh, cordless hot staple gun. Um, I haven't used it, but. Um, I do know it'd be good for interior work if you end up like breaking a body panel. This is supposed to put it back together. Um, so yeah. Uh, so this is like the uh, oh shit drawer. Uh, so you got you know your uh, finesse hammer, um, body hammers, miscellaneous hammers. Some of this shit was passed down. Like I got like a random saw. Like I've never used it before, but it's in there just in case. Uh, mini sludge. When I bought, I started my first day here. Um, I actually stopped and bought that hammer and uh, this torque wrench because uh, I had different hammers at the time and the torque wrench I didn't have. Our last shop provided us with them. Um, good dead blow for taking off wheels, it's rubber, it's blue point. Uh, so yeah, you got your extractor set here, you know, basic shit. You got your lefty bits, which was handed down to me. So it's very incomplete. Uh, I use these a couple of times. You got a right angle blue point set. Uh, this was handed down to me, so you can make any, um, I think like three eighths on it to a right handed drill bit. I don't know, actually, this is the right handed drill bit, so I think you put your drill on this side uh, over here. It goes in here, and then it's right angled. Um, I haven't used it, luckily enough, yet, because if I did, it must have been an oh shit moment. Uh, so, really good. Um, tap and die set from Craftsman. Uh, this thing has come in handy plenty. Um, it wasn't bad. I think I spent like $80 on it when Sears was going out of uh, town. Uh, so yeah, then you got your um, rethreading kit from Snap-on. I think like every brand has one of these. And then you know, your stud puller from Mac. Um, I think I use these a couple times. All right. Uh, safety glasses for using the torch, heat up, um, miscellaneous safety glasses, and this for taking off gaskets, and then these things are toast. Probably should go in the trash. Um, but then last and final drawer, you got miscellaneous sockets back here, shopping bag, um, air ratchet I've never used, miscellaneous, uh, magnetic thing for sockets with the pits, a lot of miscellaneous sockets, these are like standard, you got a half inch 18 mil 12 point, um, more socket rails, bag up in there, ball joint puller for Subarus only, um, waste of fucking money, um, all these torque sticks, uh, you know, your front end kit, honestly, um, would I buy this set again? No, because you could just use a hammer, does it come in handy with miscellaneous shit? Fuck yeah, um, so... That's on its own. I've used a lot of different things uh, over the time since I've been a mechanic. Uh, so here's a really good set that goes hand in hand with the uh, quick fill kit all the way over here. Um, so this actually has all the adapters. Uh, so this actually has all the adapters for the coolant, even with the pressure tester. Um, expensive set. Both of them together, I think it was like eight. Uh, don't quote me on that. Well, definitely worth it. Um, because it's something I'll always have. I won't have to worry about, you know, this just shop have the right shit. Is their shit broken? Because I have it. Um, pretty sure this is like a drum brake kit for Mako. Really wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but it does come with some pretty good Allen keys. Yeah, I took the um, H8 out of it. Uh, some torques, different pushbacks and different universal uh, drum brake tools that I've used a little bit uh, even comes with, with uh, you can check your uh, brake gauges or um, measurements right there with that tool uh, and then finally in my uh, shit show box you got your O2 sensors uh, sockets 
Uh, so this is a pretty good set from Mac. You know, I think you could probably went the cheaper route with uh, Amazon, but you know, had one with the Mac kid, got the Mac stuff. Uh, I do have a snap on chair. Um, this is how we fill our washer fluid and you can always use a milk crate to stand on. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I got a shelf up top here. Um, so hang some keys. Um, we use brake fluid, you know, you got some extra brake cleaner. Um, what is it called? Um, just some gasket maker, the high temp shit for using for any exhaust. Um, got some dielectric grease, tape, uh, red Loctite, mac and cheese, brake grease, um, power steering fluid, um, for the blowtorch, more butane. This comes really good for brake lines. Um, mask, spray bottle, um, and then you got a microfiber and some cleaning stuff just in case you do interior or exterior work. Um, make sure you get all your smudges, don't be judged by the smudge. Interior detailer, some engine degreaser. This is good if you overfill the brake fluid reservoir or you do brakes. Uh, turkey baster, you just, um, you know, squeeze and then you can take out whatever fluid you need to. Uh, only use this for brake fluid, never decontaminate it. Um, another spray bottle, hand sanitizer, and then your snap-on oil. Um, so there's some oil for my girl's car, battery tester through the shop, starter I got to um, send back as a core, some miscellaneous gaskets um, that we didn't end up using or needing for cars. Um, you know, you got your standard uh, Lyle um, coolant filler. Uh, we use BG, so here's like their funnels. I have uh, did a couple oil coolers, so I took the extra oil cups because I have a friend who's got a V6 Challenger, uh, Challenger and just in case if these ever break or anything like that, I have spares for him. Um, so I actually bought this funnel from Harbor Freight, and it has these adapters, sort of like the coolant one. So that one's for Toyota, and they're all labeled. Like, uh, let's see, this one's Mazda, Volvo, Ford. Um, this one's just for BMW and, like, Mercedes-Benz. Um, this one's just for Subaru. So, uh, you know, it comes with, like, an assortment. Honestly, I think they're basically all in there. There's a couple that are missing, but it's pretty good for, I think I bought it for, like, $25, $30. So yeah, it came with the funnel and then those adapters. Um, got a couple other funnels. Uh, you got, you know, just a normal one. And then you got one with like, you know, uh, the tip cut off so it's faster. And then, you know, pointed one. Um, and it all goes into this um, bucket with some pig mat in it. Uh, so yeah, finally in this cabinet. Um, I guess we'll start here. I got a nut and bolt drawer. I have uh, just miscellaneous brakes, like I got exhaust gaskets, I got, uh, you know, a bunch of, whenever I return calipers, I usually grab these, because if boot tears or anything like that, you know, you can always replace them uh, if you're doing brakes. Uh, you know, some drum shit, just in case you ever need. Um, I got some intake manifold gaskets, I should have wrote down to what they were. I got a slide pin for some reason, I don't know how. Uh, but yeah, you know, just your basic extra hardware. That you're gonna need that's basically what this is all filled with like uh, i got some eprs got a fridge clean thing uh, i got some sway bar links for a ford um which probably shouldn't be reused this is a gasket between a transmission and transfer case on uh, a gm some gaskets these are for like an older civic if you want to raise your hood i don't know why i think one of my friends had one of these now i have it uh, <laughs> not like i took it he probably gave it to me um exhaust hangers uh you got more exhaust hangers uh, these are for something miscellaneous bolts i think transmission bolts maybe flywheel bolts not positive on that one but regardless um so yeah then you got wires you got hoses bulbs like these are for this is for a cherokee uh the fog light Order for a customer, never came back. More drum shit. Um, extra cooling cap. Another bulb. Extra wires. You got a bad coil, which I got to put that bad mass airflow in here because, uh, you know, always have parts to test with. Um, then, yeah, you got my snap on bag, Milwaukee bag, different fender covers. Uh, there's the original um, wheels for the cart they're the shocks for the cart too because i do leave the uh the hood down on that guy 
Uh, just so you can like accessibly go underneath the car very easily with it like that. Um, extra pieces of wood for the lift if you need to. Um, I got a bearing for my Subaru. This is uh, actually a good bearing, but the uh, the ring doesn't read at all. Um, the ABS ring, so it throws a light on as soon as you start driving it. Tried all through through Subaru. Um, they didn't want to fucking warranty it for me. Regardless, um, then you got a hand pump here. Never really use it because we have the machines. Um, but yeah, in a second, I'll put this stuff away and then I'll go into the other side. All right, so over here, I got some power steering fluid, another 44k. Uh, you got some dye you could put in motors. Uh, let's look for leaks. Um, more power steering fluid back there. It's just basically like more of stuff from up here, like just miscellaneous miscellaneous fluids. Uh, this is all water and then like different coolants that we use. Um, like I got like a box of gloves that are half opened. Um, uh, so yeah, it's just basically a bunch of coolant and then there's a, a book. One of the other technicians went to uh, a school in Colorado uh, way, way, way back when. But it goes over the, um, the basics, you know, um, early electrical, which you really need to know, um, basic engine transmission, stuff like that suspension brakes um so this is a really good book to read uh, but yeah that is uh basically it that is my setup all right two things i forgot to add um up here my first timing belt ever bring that along with me and uh i also have a 14.4 uh snap on the beam light that goes across the hood but yeah that's the setup motherfuckers